Three signs that you're ugly. Number one, you're bald. If you're bald, you're automatically ugly. All you do is try to hide behind beanies, baseball caps, try to make yourself look better. But in reality, those things aren't doing anything for you. Because guess what? Under that hat, under the beanie, you're still bald. You will forever be bald. So how about we stop having high hopes that your hair is going to grow back? Or you're going to have waves because you're not. Trust the process. The process was over when you were first born. Yeah, what's going on today? Are, we, are you serious? You cannot naturally accept being bald. You go to the beauty supply store and buy other people's hair to put on your head. Your booty flat, you buy BBLs. Now BBLs is a thing. Ladies, ladies on the internet with all this slander, y'all better tighten up. You feel what I'm saying? I'll create a hotline and start exposing me. 1-800-H-She-Stink. Here's a finesse. Here's a finesse. Here's what I do. I get on the plane last. I'm not in a rush, ever. I already know I'm going to get on the plane. Since I'm on the plane last, everybody else is pretty much settled. Everybody else already has sat down. They have their bags put away. But most importantly, everyone who has a seat is in their seat, and I'm last. So I walk on the plane, past first class, and I see that there's actually like 15 seats available in the premium economy section of the plane. So I simply, without question, go and sit in one of the seats, and I put my things away. And I just go on my phone, and I just drop up, and I literally don't ask any questions. I did that on my way to and from Bali. See where we're climbing? They have the big headphones, blanket, pillow. Oh, my goodness. The comparison is unreal. Next time, it just has to be first class. I just got to see what first class is like. I ain't even mad at her. You need people like that in the world. Actually, you need people like that in your friend group. Because a lot of us are too cautious. A lot of us are too scared of what other people going to think. A lot of us are too scared of rejection and being embarrassed. When I get on the plane, I just be wanting it to be a seamless process. I would, Doing things like that don't even cross through my mind, son. This is what y'all don't Hi, baby. Here we go with numbers. Do you know more than half of America is going 50-50? 70% of people in households are going 50 including and white that, people. And that's great for them. I'm not. They can do what they want, will or won't. If You're I doing a hundred by yourself now. No, I don't give a f I'm by myself. <laughs> <laughs> this is delusion. Why we, this is why we still get paid to do this dumbass show. Like I am Because we have pretty delusional women that will rather pay a hundred percent by herself than go 50 50 with it. This is what y'all don't Hi, baby. I don't know when. The 50 50, 100% discussion started, but this is crazy. You would have that struggling by themselves doing 100%, but find it hard to go 50 50 if they get a boyfriend. We didn't have these type of problems in the MySpace days. Y'all want famous vagina treatment without having relations with famous penis. Y'all see all these things going on on VH1 and on the internet. You see this. Influencer is getting flown now. Dudes that can't afford it, you know what I'm saying? Spending about 20 grand to make their woman feel special. Meanwhile, your boyfriend or your husband is probably making 60 grand a year, but you want him to put down 80 grand on the ring for you because you brainwashed by social media. And then on top of that, some of y'all, some of y'all coochie trash. Some of y'all coochie trash. Some of y'all cooking trash. You still giving 1996 head. You ain't even update your head game yet. And you you want these type of treatments. Hmm? The f*** out of here, bitch. Advice if you ever in LA. We use short terms out here. So if somebody say, hey, blood. That's short for bloodline. So basically, y'all cousin. So your response will be, what's up, cuz? Better yet, sup, cuz? So let's practice. Hey, blood, sup, cuz? Advice if you have... Do not do that. <laughs> he trying to get somebody killed. I'm not from L.A. and I know better. In New York, Joyce is tricky, too. I don't know how it is now, but when I was growing up, the gang shit was weird. Hey, do men or women cheat the most? Women. Y'all, we be trying to front like the be doing all of that but women cheat more especially the LGBT community they think they sneaky and they want to have like a whole bunch of you know what i'm saying women cheat more it's okay hey do men or women cheat the most 
Women. We're more sneaking. We can manipulate you and just get away with it more. Hey, do men or women cheat the most? Women cheat the most. Because I am a great cheater. You just have to have a really good lie for your story. So... Yeah. Hey, do women or men cheat the most? Women. women are self-sabotaging at heart. So they feel like if they don't do something first, it's gonna happen to them. Hey, do men or women cheat the most? Men. Because I never heard of a woman cheating. And if I did, I didn't hear it. <laughs> hey, do men or women? They cheat for different reasons. For emotional connection and men cheat for sex pleasure. Hey, do men men cheat the most? I say females. Females when they cheat, they cheating because they actually like that. Feminine when you a you cheating because you just want wax. You know what I'm saying? You're trying <laughs> wax. I'm just hey, do men? I think women cheat the most. I also think that women are better cheaters. Yeah, man. As dudes, we just be sloppy. Women are more meticulous in their cheating ways. But what I would say is. When a woman cheats, it definitely affects a man worse than when a man cheats. And I'm not saying it's going to... Oh, men are allowed to cheat and women are not allowed. I'm not saying that. Cheating is wrong, period. A lot of times, son, when your girl cheat on you, the thought runs through your mind like, fuck, hold on. It got to be something about this nigga that would make my woman betray me. And that hurts more. To think that your woman saw something that might be better in this dude than she seeing you type shit. You feel me? Like, it's kind of a pride thing. Like, it hurts your pride that another dude was able to break down your woman's defenses. Oh my God. <laughs> I ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna say it. If you been here long enough, Go ahead and write it in the comment section. Tell me what I'm finna say. His ass almost died just now. But go ahead and tell me what I'm finna say, dog. Because at this point, <laughs> y'all just be sending me these videos just to hear me say it. So what's your relationship status? I'm married. You married? Yeah. So you like in love? I'm, I'm in love. You mean like me? Does your husband love you? Yeah. Tell him that you're pregnant to see his reaction. All right. Text him? Nah, call him. Put him on speaker. What you think he gonna say? He better be happy. Don't Hello? What you doing? So I'm cool now, right now. Where you what at? You I'm with the guys right now. What you doing? At this video. What you doing? Um, I gotta take some though. Wait, wait. What you doing? Why you acting like that? I'm just saying like what? Don't be acting like that around your I'm doing too much. I'm not, but you remember how I told you I was sick the other day? And like, yeah, when I was throwing yeah. up, we thought it was a stomach virus? Yeah, like what happened? So I had took a pregnancy test today, and like I'm pregnant. No, no, no. What the f you pregnant? What you mean? Am I pregnant? You, pregnant. you put your d in me, yeah. and you didn't pull out. So what you mean? Yeah. So how am I pregnant? So how the f am I pregnant? Officer, I don't know. Hey, hey, to be honest, I ain't gonna lie. Them kids, I ain't gonna lie. My kids. Kids, we finna hit the state. Cause yeah, we gonna hit the state. Y'all ain't finna get abortion. I already told y'all I don't believe in abortion. So what the uh, f you mean we finna uh, have an abortion? Uh, matter of fact, I don't even know y'all. Fellas, if you're not willing to be a pops, wrap it up, man. I just had a funny uh, call with a friend of mine. It's breakfast time, and she asked me what I was eating. Well, traditionally, I'll have a salad or mixed vegetables or fruit or. Almonds, something of that type. And she said, petite people don't eat that for breakfast. I do. You don't have to start your day off with those high calorie bacon, eggs, bagels. It's not even good for you. Try a salad for breakfast. Some veggies. I just had a funny uh, call with a friend of mine. It's breakfast time and she asked me what I was eating. Well, traditionally I'll have a salad or Mixed vegetables or fruit or nobody's safe in Chicago. Diamond. Yeah. Go, go, go. You finna shoot up the car. Shoot up the car? Yeah, go. What the f what is oh. that? Boy, you know what that is. Bruh. Bruh. 
I'm not gonna lie. When I did Uber, I think the worst thing that happened was um, some Mexican dudes was doing that Scarface in the back of the car. Okay, if you know what Scarface was doing, then yeah, some Mexican dudes was doing that Scarface in the back of the car. Now me, I don't, I didn't care. It was cool. They left me like a hundred dollar tip. I, I was cool with it, but I didn't care. Another thing that happened was, and I don't know if I was tripping, but like on my first night of doing Uber, I had picked up these young boys in the middle of nowhere, and they wanted me to drop them off in the middle of nowhere. I do feel as though I was judging a book by its cover, but I kind of had to stop the ride and be like, hey, bro, like this address y'all give me ain't make no sense. Like, what's up? Where the address was telling me to drop them off was like an abandoned truck stop. But it turns out that they were going to some nice-ass houses that were like in the back. There's going to meet some chicks. And I don't know, fuck. I was... I was on I was on one, bro. I was on 10. I had my strap on me. I was like, hey, bro, these try to rob me back here. I'm going crazy on them. But I think that was just me being a little shook. Because before I started Uber that night, I was watching all these videos of, of Uber drivers getting robbed and getting carjacked and stuff like that.